Hey everybody, it's Justin from Bittner Built, and today it's a little bit of a different episode. Um, I had a whole bunch of people in comments on one of my last videos say that they wanted to see what was inside my everyday carry bag. So sure, why not? We can go through what I carry in there. And uh, while we're out here, I wanted to talk about a couple different things too. I'll bring it in the shop and we'll go through it. But uh, first off, the way I carry this bag, uh, I used to have a ram so i had a truck box that every all my tools went in but i switched it out for a durango because this seat's six so it's easier for me to take my employees and my kids and all sorts of stuff and it still tows really good so um to keep this guy from rolling around i have one of these paracord with uh cinching lock things you can pick them up at home depot they're really handy so then i just go ahead and clip it on and then pull the paracord tight and it holds it securely against my wall so it's not rolling around back here when I take sharp turns. If we're talking about everyday carry too, I also just want to point out this is my crazy insane first aid kit. First aid stuff is never a bad thing. Uh, I do rock climbing and full contact fighting. My sons do that. My sons do lots of other sports too. And uh, I also have employees. So it's good to just have a full comprehensive first aid kit. The, nothing can ever be bad with having this stuff with you. Um, and also I have a full AED defibrillator. I had a parent at one of my soccer games that I was coaching uh, have a heart attack. And so we had to give him first aid for 20 minutes before the ambulance came. And it would have been, he, he's okay but it would have been an even better situation had we had a AED available to us. So right after that, I did a fundraiser, got this so that I have it at all of our soccer games and, uh, and I'm trained to use it. Um, but you know, hopefully I never have to use it again, but it's there if I need it. All right, some perspective on this bag. I own a Christmas light installation business. So we do electrical and carpentry-ish type of things with that stuff. Uh, I have a landscape lighting installation business, so like your typical low voltage stuff, also electrical and uh, digging. And then I also do my woodworking where I might go install something at somebody's home. And then of course I just have tools that I keep with me all the time for me uh, because I have an active family life. So uh, that's perspective on what everything is in here. I'm not, it's gonna be hard to get camera angles on this stuff. So I'm gonna pull a lot of stuff out. Uh, this side is usually mounted against the wall of my car. And so I don't want anything hard on this side. So this is all soft stuff. So notepad, uh, two ponchos in case we get caught in the rain while we're working and we can't leave. Garbage bags, toilet paper, and Ziploc bags. You would be amazed at how often I'm pulling these out for different things. So um, definitely keep garbage bags with you all the time. This one is an interesting one. These are very long rubber bands. We use them to make shift make uh, garbage bags. Well, we take garbage bags and we use them to make garbage receptacles. When we're out on a job site, uh, you can easily attach your garbage bags to things with these and it'll hold it open so that we can, you know, throw all our garbage in there. On this side, we have tape and pinchy clamp. Okay, this side. I have my railer bit set, so I keep all of my screw bits outside of the unit. That frees up a lot of space inside here. Uh, I have paracord, flashlight, uh, sunscreen, bug spray, and a lighter and chapstick in this one, because uh, working outside, right? Uh, chalk line. And this one actually has five different uh, charging cables in it, and I'll show you what I have in here that actually require charging cables. And we're gonna come back to this one in a minute when I show the appropriate tool that it goes with. On this side, uh, with my Christmas light business, we're up on roofs. So every single tool that goes up with us needs to be bungeed to our person. So I have a lot of extra bungees and uh, carabiners for attaching those to you before you go up on a roof so you don't kill anybody when your tool falls off the roof onto somebody's head. All right, first slot, I have my blade container. So I have oscillating blades, jigsaw blades, and demo blades. Uh, I don't keep a jigsaw with me, but the blades are so small, it just makes sense to keep some with me just in case. Have a DeWalt uh, Allen key set up. Also, surprisingly, comes into handy quite a bit. I uh, got metal snips. Have two walkie-talkies. Again, since we go up on roofs, it's way better for us to have walkie-talkies uh, to be able to communicate. And while I keep a whole set in my uh, trailer, of course, it's good to have another set with you. Scissors and two files. Regular claw hammer. 
And then in this big pocket in here, I keep sandpaper. And I have a whole screw bit hook, um, some additional mortar bits that don't fit in my other unit, washers, anchors, all that type of stuff that I might need on the site. Here's the other side. If you haven't noticed yet, my bag's really, really clean. Uh, I only remade this bag about a month ago, so it's still pristine. And kind of the way I operate is if I have to get something out of this bag, the bag stays in my car and I grab things out of it and then put them back in. The whole thing is not going and getting filled with bad stuff. So uh, try and keep it as nice as I can for as long as I can. Uh, so I have a, a neoprene dusk mask, have a, uh, sun hat that is very breathable and is currently drenched because I used it today. Uh, it's super hot outside right now. Have the uh, drill bit roll that I showed in the last video. Ta-da, I have three full sets. I got a spade bit, wood bit, and a mortar bit set in there. And it takes up very little space, so I highly encourage you getting a roll for your stuff. Big old knife. This is a collapsible, um, oh, what are these guys called? It's for the car when you get a flat tire. I forget the name at the moment. It'll come to me. I'm gonna put it up on the screen. Having a brain fart. So, uh, on here, I got my SOG multi-tool. I love this thing. I've, I love them because they have this gear, so it applies a ton of pressure uh, without having to use a lot of pressure with your hand, so it's really great for cutting wire. Uh, which I do an incredible amount of. So this is on me at all times during my Christmas light season. This is my pinchy side. Um, oh, well, hold on before we get there. I have an incredibly long mortar bit on here uh, that I've had to use too many times. And I got zip ties hiding down this pocket down here as well. Uh, so from this side, I have a razor knife, a small pry bar. You know, I can't fit a crowbar in here, but this guy actually comes in handy quite a bit. And I have one of my picks because you never know. Uh, it does come in handy. I have a uh, flush cut snip, automatic wire strippers, needle nose, crescent. This last guy is super interesting. So, you know, this goes with that other bag that is clipped to the outside of the unit. So let me show you that separately. All right, so this tool, this was really a space-saving functionality type of thing because everybody wants to keep a full socket set in their car, but it can be big and bulky. And so this was kind of like a side thing that I've been testing for a little while. And basically this crescent wrench also acts as a socket set. So these guys click in and all of these bits are metric and imperial where it's like 23, 23, 32, or 18 millimeter. Um, so based on their design, it's supposed to work for both. So, you know, long-term, I don't wanna tell you this thing's great, but I'm trying it out right now. I'm very interested to see what I need it, if it's good for me. Also in this little baggie, I have an adapter with one of your kind of catch-alls. I know these things are not the best, but again, if you're in a moment of need, this might save me from a trip to Home Depot, just by having this guy in my bag. Okay, so here is a glimpse inside. It's gonna to be too awkward for me to film it like this. So I just wanted to give you a peek inside and I'll pull everything out. All right, there's a lot in the interior. You know what, I'm gonna start with my little baggie. There's a bag up the top. And in that I got one, two, three flashlights, uh, headlights. This one in particular, I love this guy. Um, it's rechargeable, but these guys are battery, so sometimes this just dies, and I have the other ones there. You'd be surprised how frequently we have to use those. I also keep three countersink bits inside that baggie as well, just so they don't get messed up. All right, what to do first? I'll pull out all my big stuff. So, Milwaukee small handsaw. Really, that is, that hacksaw, I wanted just a small one so it could always live in here, and this, while super underpowered, fits the bill, and when I need it, it's great to have it with me. Um, the Rover M12 Lite. 
This thing has become my favorite light ever, and I'm always pulling it out of here to use on stuff in the house, especially because of the magnet right there. It's just so convenient for me to just attach it to something like that. I love that thing. Um, when I'm up on the roof, again, I have things that are bungee to me. I typically like my uh, Milwaukee snips and wire strippers, and so this is typically always on me. Level, stud finder. M12 oscillating tool, multi-tool, two pony clamps, roll of duct tape, sliding ruler, one, two, three, three M12 batteries, smaller ones just because they live in here most of the time. Uh, drill and driver M12 with bit fixes on the side. Okay, let's see. This guy's cool. Um, Safety Source actually gave this to me for free. Um, not a sponsored thing, just they are my sponsor on some videos and very cool. So this has 11 bits on it. It just keeps going and going and going and so each one can spin around. Um, this is really the only one that I need in here. It also can be used for some nuts uh, on here as well, but pretty limited. But uh, very nice and very rubbery grippy handle. I like that guy. Uh, electrical tape, tons of, geez, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have a ton of permanent markers and pencils, and then I also have paint pens. Uh, these are good for writing on metal and pipe and things like that. Um, I have the jumbo, jumbo permanent marker. And then we got small hand tools. Let's see what we got. take me forever to reorganize this. So I have a standard Phillips and flat head, even though I have that multi one, sometimes it's just good to have individual ones. I have two junky chisels. Um, these are ones that I would use and abuse like hit concrete with, um, something stupid. So they're meant to be junky. Uh, really, really long tweezers. Sometimes when we're doing light fixtures, uh, we have to thread wire up through a pipe and then it gets stuck in the pipe. So you can stick this in the pipe, grab it and pull it back out. Air tire gauge. And then another driver based um, unit. This is like a Harbor Freight cheapy guy, but it actually works pretty well. Uh, let's see, electrical tester. Gotta have that. Mm. I think that's it in there. So that is it. Um, this is very specific for me, for my different businesses that I have. Um, a lot skews towards electrical stuff, but um, you know I have carpentry stuff in here as well and just things for everyday stuff. Today I was over at my father-in-law's house helping them build a structure to keep raccoons out around where their garden is. And so this came out of my car and I had everything that I needed. I didn't need anything else than what was here and the tools that he had on hand. So very handy. So I'd love to hear what you guys have in your everyday carry bags. Um, you know, especially if there's some little fun tidbit in there that I didn't know about, um, because while there is barely any room, there's always a little bit more room to put another tool in there. So, uh, hope you like, and subscribe. Try to make this one a short one for you. Stay safe in the shop and I'll see you in the next one.